Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. No, not on this occasion. I know this may come as a terrible surprise to some of you, but I'm actually doing some electrical installation work and there's not a calculator in sight for once. But I just suddenly had a little bit of an inspiration. I'm doing some work on the lighting in this property, uh, making some modifications to the way it's working because a wall's been taken down and turned a, a room into uh, one big kitchen diner effectively. But uh, what I wanted to just talk to you about, it was quite interesting. It suddenly struck me that um, I was holding in my hand something uh, that's very important to uh, electricians uh, and when you're doing your installation work on site you'll come across these. Uh, these are dry lining boxes or plasterboard boxes. Now what's quite interesting is that when I started out my electrical career I was actually working with this brand here. This is called Fastafix uh, to the point where for about I don't know five years or so at the start of my career I thought that these Every single one of these was called a faster fix box, but it's not. That's actually the brand name here. Uh, and it struck me as interesting because that's quite a simple piece of kit. Uh, it's a dry lining box. It goes in the wall. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. You pop the uh, little tabs in, push them into the wall. And when you do up the screws onto the front plate, whether it be a switch or a socket or whatever, it pulls the box uh, tight in up against the accessory and kind of sandwiches the plasterboard in there. And that's what stops it from falling out or falling in. But it's just suddenly struck me that actually I took another switch out from uh, a, a wall that's gone now. And in that wall, I found this box here. And actually, I've never uh, come across this particular type of box before. Uh, the only branding I can see on the inside of here is EGA UK. So I don't know if that's part of the, is it Eager Tube? I'm not sure. But uh, it just struck me as interesting because I've never seen this style of fixing before either. Uh, I'm going to nip back to the studio a little bit later and I'll show you uh, another type of uh, fixing box in the side of a dry lining box. But this one is, is kind of uh, sprung inside there. And when you push this in, it'll kind of deflect like that and then snap back out again and hold in place. And again, when you do the screws up, it'll grip against the front there. And it just struck me as interesting that there's kind of a, a nice kind of almost story here that, you know, this is the, the brand of box that I started out my career with, but even uh, many decades into that, I'm still finding new things and learning new things uh, about the electrical industry that I've not come across before. So even something as simple as a single dry lining box uh, is something that, um, uh, yeah, you, there's still surprises to be had there, and I just thought that was quite interesting. What I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to fit the, the faster fix box uh, for old time's sake, so I'm going to put that in here. So uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just nip back to the studio and I'll show you uh, the other type of box that I'm very familiar with, and I'm sure you'll be familiar with, and another type of lug that goes in there. Uh, and then we'll, we'll nip back and we'll actually fix this in here and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so we're back at the studio now and just having a look at this third type of uh, plasterboard fixing box here again there's lots of others available this one is an Appleby one and uh, this is fairly common actually you'll see this in an awful lot of different places exactly the same principle but just a slightly different method if we just look here you can see that the side fixings there the lugs are designed just to snap into place in this one so you can push the box in quite easily because uh, there's no lugs sticking out of the side to start with but then once you've got it into the plasterboard it's just a matter of pushing that in and pulling it forward and the same on the other side and then you can see there that when you do the front screws up on the accessory it's going to pull that lug there tight against the plasterboard which will be sat there and that will make that uh, a really nice strong uh, fixing inside there so again just another type of fixing and again there's there's still others uh, manufacturers have used all kinds of clever little tricks uh, to achieve the same effect so yeah so let's just head back over to uh, the job that we're on and have a look at actually popping that plasterboard box in. Okay, so as we said, uh, I'm gonna pop the faster fix box in, the brand faster fix that is, of course, it's a dry lining box. Uh, we're just gonna pop that in there like that, bring the cables through this knockout at the top that's already been knocked out. There's another knockout at the bottom that I could have used, but I don't want to uh, make a hole if I don't need it. And that just sits into the hole that you've cut in there. And then all you've got to do is with these ones, they've got these kind of sprung clips that go in. So there's a little nib there. So if I just pop the spring onto the nib and then push it in and outwards like that, you can see that what that's trying to do now is it's trying to push back against the plasterboard and actually grip against the plasterboard. So if I do the same thing on this side, so again, there's the little nib, pop the spring that you can see there 
onto the nib and then push that in and that's going to hold that. And what I really like about these Fastfix uh, brand ones is that you've got this uh, kind of spike on there, uh, which means that when you do it up, when you put the screw in the front there, that actually kind of gets dragged into the plasterboard and gives a really, really uh, secure fixing against it. So it gives you a nice firm uh, mounting position. So we'll just pop that there, drag that forward a little bit, just make sure that's firmly in place. And it's just a matter of terminating it, screwing the front on and that'll screw up against there and grip that really nice and tightly. So there we go. Uh, there's lots of different kinds of dry lining boxes out there, lots of different brands on the market. Uh, and again, you know, they've all got the different benefits and uses, uh, but it's just a nice little trip down memory lane for me to be able to fit a faster fix box like I was all those years ago. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, it's a GSH video, sorry. We hope this video has been some help.